Good morning to everyone in the grants community. This is very important information that just land on our table this morning. Uh, a conversation with the husband of uh, Joy Ime Robert, one of the NGOs that has been kidnapped on our way to uh, screening. The husband is out to uh, explain the situation that this woman is still in the custody of kidnappers and then we want the grant community to uh, do something about it so that she will be released and uh, as well as uh, she will go for her screening. Uh, this is a conversation with the husband. Pay attention everybody. Thank you for stopping by. Good News Life update. We keep updating you on happening right now. Congratulations to those NGOs that has done their verification successful. We hope and wait to receive our payment very soon. Thank you, Good News Live Update reporting. My wife is in pain. Mm. Mm. My wife was adopted. This is serious. As a TV. I went to the AKC that she bought to go and find out why is it the office now they didn't call me to tell me what the situation before I now get to anti kidnapping squad in a Bible state. Now I went to AKTC. I met with the manager today. The woman brought out the manifest and showed me the people that have been adopted by the adopters. Hello, are you hearing me? Oh, me too, so I'm listening. Now, out of 15, the board took 15 people from from you. I drop her off to the, the, the terminal. I said, uh, when, when, when did you drop her, sir? I drop her the terminal. Yeah, what, I, what date? Was it today or yesterday? Yesterday. Okay. Yesterday. In the morning or in the night? The boss left seven after seven. In the morning? In the morning. Okay, sir. So I've been with, I've been monitoring our movement, talking with her. Where are you? Where have you got into this place? So at start 4 p.m. yesterday, she was at Lukuja. That was the last time I spoke with her. 4 p.m. yesterday? Yesterday, she was at Cookie State. Okay. Now, our phone went off. I didn't talk with her again. I was worried. I was thinking that maybe maybe her phone is off. Then um, I was telling her, I just sent her a text that okay. When um, you um, when you get to Lukuja, it will take you maybe two hours or two and a half hours to Abuja. Hmm. Little, little did I know that she was adopted at um, um, at Kuti, one local government that uh, they sent to me in the or something like that. Jesus Christ. Now, there was a number that called me around 8.30 yesterday. I did not think that because it was a strange number. I was worried. Well, I wanted to talk to my wife to find out what's up. By 9.30 then about, another call came in a strange number. And that was my wife calling me. Hmm. She was crying telling me she has been adopted. Jesus Christ. I said, why? What happened? That they took them inside Bush. They are boss. So I spoke with the adopter yesterday. It's a supreme 20 million. So I can't pick my wife. I tried to, to come in and say, no, it's, it's not like this now. Please. That woman is going for interview, job interview. It's no job, please. I tried to talk with the person. The man cut off my phone. Said, well, I'm serious, then. I've come out to deal with them. So the following morning, that was that. Around that time, I didn't talk to them again. I mean, I didn't talk to her again. That's my wife, because I heard her who spoke. So the following morning, this morning, around that 7 o'clock, so I called, after I reported the incident to my family, my other brother, and my sister. So this morning, around that seven o'clock, 
I went to my phone, let me take the call that came in before I spoke to her. So I can get a two picture. Hello, are you with me? I'm with you, sir. I'm with you. So I spoke with the call that, uh, that called me, the first caller. This guy pick. <coughs> and told me that. That he was in the, that he, that he is a co passenger of that bus. That's okay. So, how come? What happened? He said that it's a terrible situation, terrible incident. That he was in the bus. That the people, because they have doctors, will release them. And some elderly men, about four of them, including the driver. And they took 11 people, including my wife, into the bush. Jesus. And now he said, where are you now? He said he's at the, 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 the fully local government in Kogi State. I told him, please, can you text the address to me? He text the address to me. I said, okay, where is the driver? He said, the driver is not here. Or the driver has been released. As it asking, asking them to go. I said, why? That he tried calling me yesterday to report that he saw my number in the manifest. Hmm. He reported it to me. That he has been trying to reach out to other. Yes. Uh, of King. Yes. The manifest. Confirming what he said to me. So when I went to AKTC to Spain, you know, I spoke with the manager. He got out the list and showed me that this somebody, uh, I said he was a co passenger. I said, no, I think it's the AKTC staff. I was arguing with them that if it was AKTC staff, they're supposed to have gotten to me. But he not call me, rather, he introduced himself as a co passenger. So I didn't want to start making issues there with them. I just left. I went, okay, let me go to police and take kidnapping so that I can report my case. So when I got to, I mean, when I spoke with the manager today, he said that they are in on top of the situation. That the, the, the woman said he asked the driver and the four passengers that was uh, rescue released to go to Lubuja police station to go and make entry. That as he's speaking now, that the, the, the driver and the four passengers are in the police custody there. Hmm. So, I left. And I went to Hati, in a big squad. And I did the story to them. The man said that it is not to carry out that investigation. That it is the people in Lukaja that need to carry that out. It's about, I left the police station, that's about um, five, four and five this evening. This evening, so aut automatically, what it means is that your wife did not even get to Abuja. My wife is in the is in Lukuja there. I mean, I mean, is in Lukuji. He didn't go to Abuja because the V note I listened to is saying she has done verification already. Her phone was stolen, sir. I I see. Making this report is an idiot. The person that is making me this report, but it didn't me. So I don't the husband of this is my wife that is in Yes, I know. It is brothers that sent the number, your own number, and uh, Madame Ungozi that sponsored her to come for that verification. When Kofi called me this evening, she was crying that, how can somebody be making this campaign with somebody's life, talking this kind of rubbish in the grand community? I don't understand. And a reverend, calling himself a reverend, telling lies. Telling lies for crying out. We have been screaming and shouting for so many years. This grand community has been like this full of lies and deceits. There is one man that called me, um, one he said he's the CEO of the NGO. Hello, I'm with you, sir. Uh, yes, one man that called me. I'm forgetting because I didn't store his name, but I store him as CEO of NGO. He asked me that I should send the invitation. The, my wife received the invitation to come for the screening that I said yes. I now forwarded the invitation that is supposed to be that's supposed to be tomorrow, which is Friday. Was that day? 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that is through what's up to the man this evening. So <laughs> the man come here, but my wife as I speak to you now, he is still with the adopters. Jesus Christ. When I spoke with her, this evening she was crying that she had not eaten since yesterday and up till now. Hey. What the is it? the money for money. I'm with you, sir. So now, have you have you report? Okay, they said it's the local jar squad that will no, do the investigation. My wife is not going to Abuja. My wife is staying in that. I can take the address to you uh, where they are talking to us, where they take them. The one that got many, the cook is there. Okay, sir. Sir, as, as I'm speaking to you now, I am actually recording our conversation. I am recording it so that it doesn't look like tomorrow they will not call because I was already sleeping when I had my phone rang. I was like, who is calling me this night? Let me pick my phone. I saw that he's a, a sister and a friend and she's a boss. And now look, why is she calling me at this time? Was why I called her. Her line was busy. Then she called me back to tell me that what they are saying is not true. The woman didn't go, why didn't get to Abuja? So I now say, okay, I don't understand. I don't understand. So why I'm saying this to you, sir, is that this recorded, when I do my V notes and place it to tell them that what that reverend is saying is not the truth, I am going to put our conversation, let them hear so that they can all start praying and do what is necessary. Do you understand me, sir? Yes, sir. So I will call. I will call you back when I drop it. Let them that call for verification be on top of the situation, too, as well. While we also support in prayer, and I believe God in heaven will have mercy and let them release her by His Amen. grace. So, sir, don't don't panic. Don't be afraid because of your own health as well, please. We need to have strength to make sure we pull through in releasing her. Please, sir. God will I give you the you strength, sir. Thank you for the support. Thank yes, sir. No problem, sir. No problem, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I will reach out to you again, sir. If possible, I will drop your, your phone number on the platform for those that really want to know the facts of the issue, if there is need for it, sir. All right, thank you very much, sir. All right, sir. All right, sir. No problem, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Madam Z for your concern and this is a very painful situation to the family of this NGO Madam Joyce Ime Robert we pray that God intervene and then she will be out in no time for her screening this information is coming from the grants community no copywriting fragment intended consider to subscribe this is for informational purpose. Till we come your way next time. Thank you.